Gastric intestinal metaplasia is a change in the lining in the cells of the stomach that is starting to resemble the lining of the intestine. This is particularly important as it can be a precursor to cancer development. Patients with intestinal metaplasia often do not experience any symptoms. Whilst you may have symptoms of acid reflux or heartburn, the vast majority of patients are asymptomatic. Often, intestinal metaplasia in the stomach is identified during routine biopsies from the stomach during an endoscopy. Intestinal metaplasia does carry a risk of progressing to cancer, but the overall risk is very low. In fact, that risk is less than 1%. It is a relatively common finding, and in Australia, between 5 to 20% of the population will have intestinal metaplasia. The vast majority of these patients will not know or will not have any adverse effects from this. Knowing about intestinal metaplasia allows us to perform ongoing surveillance to ensure that this does not progress to cancer in the future. Once you are diagnosed with intestinal metaplasia, your gastroenterologist will often recommend a repeat endoscopy to perform mapping of the stomach. This involves a close inspection of the lining of the stomach to look for any irregularities and also to perform mapping biopsies from 10 areas throughout the stomach to assess for the extent of change. This will determine your overall risk. In patients that have intestinal metaplasia in one or perhaps two areas in the stomach, the guidelines would recommend a five yearly gastroscopy. For patients with more extensive changes or changes that may be progressing towards cancer, that interval would be shortened. By performing appropriate surveillance and biopsies, we can significantly reduce the risk of a patient developing gastric cancer by identifying any progressive changes early and treating these at a very early stage. What can you do to reduce your risk of progression? Smoking and alcohol both play a role and minimising these can have a significant impact on your overall risk. Other factors are out of your control. Genetics plays a factor. Hispanic populations and East Asians carry the highest risk of developing intestinal metaplasia and gastric cancer. In these populations, extra vigilance is required to perform appropriate screening. A high salt diet can also play a role as it increases acid production and inflammation in the stomach lining and minimising salt intake may also be of benefit. Most importantly, gastric intestinal metaplasia is not cancer. Note this video is not a medical consultation. Any medical information is general in nature and is not intended to provide individual clinical advice. You should contact your doctor or other health professional in relation to any concerns they may have as your own circumstances may be different. If you would like further information or to speak to a member of our team, please head to our website.